Oh, I'm hype, dog. Are you? I'm hype. Oh, he hype. He hype. Ooh, we he hype. hype. He hype. I'm we hype. hype. Why are you hype? Dude, I'm hype because we have a new opportunity, a new option, really. People say, well, do two episodes a week. Do an extra episode. How long have them knuckleheads been asking, oh, give us another bonus episode. Give us yeah. behind-the-scenes footage. My oh, give us yeah. exclusive merch. Oh, daddy. Oh, daddy. Yeah, people say, my cousin died. Let me get an extra episode. I know. I say, I look, I'm, I do what I can. And that's why what we have now is the new Cats Patreon. I'm so excited about it. Why don't you hit them with the tears, daddy? Oh, well, don't touch me. Go ahead and get that bonus episode every month. Mm -hmm. Plus, Patreon members can make submissions of their own to oh, make sure yeah. it gets in the episode. Streamline that. And we also got that second tier that keep touching Ooh, me. Ooh, but don't stop. You get everything in the first tier. Plus, you get all the regular episodes ad-free. Yep, ad-free versions of the regular episodes. Then finally, we got that premier tier that meet me at... 20. What's up, dog? Everything in the first two tiers I just told your ass about. Plus, you get the exclusive 360 camera. Mm -hmm. What? Like Avatar 7 up in this bitch. Pre-show behind the scenes. Exclusive merch items just for the Patreons. Plus, monthly Q&A access. You don't know who you can get. You can get the King Sting. You can get the Rat King. We did that backwards. You can get Chappelle. You can get freaking Cat's Feet. Mm -hmm. You can get Chin's Beard. I don't know. You get Nick talking to whoever. Yep. Uh, after the episode, then we'll have somebody sit in and do a Q&A. Um, and all the options are available on Patreon.com slash King and the Sting. Uh, so you guys check it out. Uh, it's just for, for people that want that extra episode that want extra uh cats you know it, it's Something gonna fun, be offered man. we're excited about and it and it will not affect any of the regular episodes um everything else uh where you're getting this now will be exactly the same it's just on top of it yeah a little extra for the true king of the sting fans gang <laughs> <laughs> gang gang buzz, buzz. back off my broccolini get your life together it is don't touch me bro I'm not touching you dude Half of me digs this. Half of me hates. Wow. <laughs> I respect it. Thank you. Yeah, I respect it. Such a nice song. How weird is it? They still got a queen. This is the British national anthem. Yes, sir. God, God save, save the, the queen. queen. Yes, sir. Now it really has a lot of the same stuff as uh the same pentameter or whatever is your thing as uh as the national cross anthem? heart national anthem yeah i mean we we basically you know stole their shit well well we wow. used to be them so yeah exactly so we're just like yeah it's kind of like music these days you know? yeah culture vulture yep britain man that's britain. how we got here crazily yeah. i mean we didn't really you did half of you I did. did half of me came here so My you mama did. Mama born it. and raised over there. Wow. Your mom has an accent. She did. When I growing up, she did. It's gone away. My name. aunt does. My grandma did. Oh, passed she did? away. Rest in peace. Yeah. What what part are they from? Stroud. Stroud. Where is that? Is that near Manchester? No. All right. And what is it? It's more south. It's a little. Oh, wow. It's a little town south. Get some images of, of Stroud. Can you, Nick? Images of Stroud, rural Stroud. Yeah, dude, I grew up on wine gums, tea. What you know about wine gums? You look like you smuggle wine gums in your butt. What? That's what you look like, dog. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know what wine gums are, Chappelle? No, no, I don't. The best candy on planet Earth. So. Oh, yeah. See, I'm not a big yeah. candy fan. Oh, fuck, yeah. dude. England is the you... best candy. Yeah. Don't you know, Chappelle? Here's what you. Here's how it works with Chappelle. You say something, he's like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you're right. Yet I keep going back to the well, don't I? Yeah. The well of unknown over there. <laughs> and it's horrible because it's you. Yeah, since it's you it saying. nowhere. It's you saying the ideas, too. So they're out of the gate. <laughs> they are very suspect <laughs> suggestions. Them wine gums, dude. Oh, it's just, oh gummy. Oh, that's my favorite. Now, that's Stroud right there. Yep. I now mean, that's your home. They're not uh, gummy bears. How dare you? Dude? Uh, I'll, I'll bring some in for you. Okay. And look, we want to just say thank you to everybody from Britain, man, and everybody mm -hmm. that's, you know, British. Yeah. Shout out to Oasis. Yep. Shout out to Winston Churchill. Mm. Shout out to Elton John. Elton John. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. David Beckham. 
Chin, name somebody. <laughs> name an Asian Brit. English. An Asian Brit. <laughs> Asian. What's that guy's name? Austin the one you Powers. Love. That I love? Yeah. The one that's on your so screensaver. so many Asian men. The screensaver. Is he any British? No, he's not. Oh, he gotta be mind. Asian. Austin Powers. He's Austin Powers. Let's talk about Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury. Michael Bisbing. Anthony Michael Bisbing. Joshua. Darren Till. Anthony Joshua. Um, who else? Who's a famous soccer player that's British? Oh God, they got um, a ton. Well, I already said David Beckham. David Beckham. Um, what's something else that's British? Pork and beans is British. <laughs> Spice Girls. <laughs> Spice oh, Girls. Oh, good one. You know they. One beans. Direction. One Direction. Yeah, British. Wow, that's a good one. Name something British, dude. Fish this and chips, game. dog. Fish mm -hmm. and chippies. Prince Harry. Crisp. Would you say Chin? Prince Harry. Prince Harry. Yeah, he's out, bro. Yeah, he's he American. moved, bro. He's right. out of the royal family. Right, fine. Yeah. He got a girl and she's like, I don't like them. He's like, yeah, fuck them. And they Ooh, moved. Ooh, Princess Diana. Princess mm -hmm. Diana. Mm -hmm. Who I actually, I, I didn't know. <laughs> I was at my buddy's house and he's homosexual. Where he was, he died. Yeah. But he, uh, mm. and he was making us some dinner. Okay. And he's like, Princess Diana died. The news came on. And he started crying. I didn't know who Princess Diana was, you know. I knew it was like a beanie baby or something. That's all I knew about it. You talking about that purple beanie baby? Yeah. Tough to get. Yeah. And uh, but there's a beanie baby of her. There was. There was. Oh. But um. Anyway, my mama went into deep depression when she passed away. A lot of people. It was did. tough around the Shab household when Princess Diana died. Well, because your mother grew up in Stroud, brother. Yeah, she was sad. Well, did your mother sound British? Oh yeah. Wow. My aunt Sue has a thick accent. Aunt Nubby got an accent. Dude, have them bitches send in a video. <laughs> <laughs> I should, huh? We yeah. don't want to hang out with them. I should have, huh? Brendan, we would love that. Wouldn't we? My yeah. Mom, love it. My mom would love it. Yeah, I should have. Dude, yeah, we would love to hear from those ladies. Wouldn't we, Nick? Yes, we would. Yes, we would. <laughs> <laughs> Nick sounds like he's, uh, like he's been like kidnapped. <laughs> yeah, 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 yes, we would. Dude. I wasn't sure what we were talking about. I'm, I'm trying oh, to get our, our guest on, on the Zoom. Oh, we got a guest on. That's true, man. We're coming right out of uh, out of the UK. and let's, let's Premier get League soccer. What you know about, you guys don't know shit about Christian Pulsic, the number one American player over there doing the goddamn thing. Dang. The like best that. American player ever. Really? Playing for Chelsea, son. Respect, 21-year-old dude out of Pennsylvania. What about the revolutionary war that we won? Mm -hmm. Sure. Are we honoring or are we making fun of them? My bad. <laughs> <laughs> but here's what the well, episode... Well, that in their face, Doug. Yeah, we want to say we might be coming back over there um, because things are getting a little rocky here in the States. And so we wanted to talk to, uh, to a prideful member of the UK... And just let him know that we might be on our way back over there and see what he has to say. Yeah, we might go back to the old roots. Yep. Have you have you been to your home? Yeah, I have. Yeah. I yeah. The oh. First time I went there was last year. I toured there for comedy. Haven't oh. I've never been. My oh, whole wow. family's oh, wow. been. I've never been. First time there touring comedy. Oh gosh, I, I got to go there. So we wanted to uh, we wanted to go and, and just have a guest from the UK that we could talk to. He's fresh off his first UFC bout, and uh, and and it was a win, and we got Jack Shore. Entering right here. Probably wouldn't have him on if he lost. Let's be real about it. <laughs> okay, let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> and he's also a massive King and the Sting fan. He, yeah, he, that's he, true. He loves the show. Let's see if we can get him. I think. Jack, can you hear us? Yeah, I'm on it. Can you hear you? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> What's up, man? What's going on? <laughs> Not much, dude. Just want to say congrats on your win, man. And, uh,. And just to let you know, we're doing a, an episode that's all British, and um, and we just wanted to talk to somebody from Britain and see how it's going over there. <laughs> yeah, well, I appreciate the the thanks on the win. Britain's a bit uh, a bit crazy at the minute. We're still like locked down big time, so you know we're uh, we, we come I come back from the fight island, and I'm straight back bound to the house. So. Uh, I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit fat. I can't get as much training as I want to. But <laughs> oh, Brennan's fat. <laughs> <laughs> I, stay, I stay thick, man. I'm just joking. He's thick. My I bad, stay man. Thick, dude. That was kind of rude. My bad. <laughs> yeah, it's Theo, you know. How you doing, brother? <laughs> yeah, I'm all good. I'm all good. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm getting back into the, uh, the thick boy status again. Now ready to get out on that bike, you know. Uh, I, was, I was too skinny. To, uh, to be classed as a thick boy, I think, on a fight night. So. No, you're in the club, bro. Do they give you, uh, do you get tickets out there like we do in America? Like, I got a ticket for riding my bike outside when the pandemic first hit. 
Uh, we haven't had. I haven't heard nothing. You know, they're not so strict. I mean, they, there was a rule that you couldn't you couldn't leave the house uh, further than sort of five to ten kilometres. But uh, wow. no one really listened. Wow. I think they was out <laughs> running out on the bikes and shit. But, uh, yeah, we, I haven't had a ticket yet. I mean, I, I'm trying to get away from it as fast as I can. But uh, you know, it's a little bit different if you want the trails. I'm uh, I'm on the roads a little bit, so I, I try and uh, avoid the the police if we can. Are are all the pubs shut down there? Those are bars. <laughs> <laughs> Not allowed. Yeah, it's, it's it's completely shut. They've opened like um, out, outdoor areas now in the in the pubs and the, and the clubs. But uh, a couple of couple of landlords and I, that I know have, have opened up on the sneak and they've been shut down like real fast. So we still uh, there's no one there's no one drinking legally at the minute over here. But there's a lot of people drinking illegally. And do um ask him something. <laughs> Are you an Oasis fan? <laughs> Yeah, ma- massive Oasis. Yeah. Oh, massive Oasis. Oh, <laughs> That's my favorite band. <laughs> hey, let, hey how, how do you? So if Joshua and Fury fight, how do you guys decide over there who the fuck to root for? I think it's quite fifty-fifty. Um, to be honest, like the last year with with Fury and his sort of coming back from the mental health and coming back from obviously he, he was down and out. He's just. The public loves him over here now. Like going back five years ago, everyone ate the Tyson Fury. Now all yep. of a sudden, he, he's this this like you know the general public just see him as this superstar, this hero. So I mean, I, I'm Team Gypsy King all the way. But uh, you know, Joshua is people are fond of Joshua over here too. So I, I think it's really going to be like a fifty fifty split. But uh, I, I'm I'm Team Gypsy King without a doubt. Uh, me too. And what about when you guys had that guy that fought Logan Paul? What were you guys cheering? <laughs> KSI. Yeah, KSI. Does anybody cheer for that guy, or did it, did everybody think that they were both if a bunch of wankers, or what was the deal? Don't root for him now. He got like he got knocked about, didn't he, pretty easily? But um, you know, I don't even think like that anyone took that fight seriously. Obviously, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's more of an American thing. Paul is, I don't think. Yeah. That now was, the rematch was my uh, second date with my girlfriend, or my first date with my girlfriend. I brought her to the Staples Center for Logan Paul KSI. Oh, you did? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. The undercard was Billy Joe Saunders, who's English, Stud. and like no one ca- gave a shit about the real fights. Like it was in full of YouTubers. Yeah, it was twelve year olds with their parents. It was wow. it was yeah. hilarious. Uh, and Bill, I, I think he would uh, Jack would say Billy Joe Saunders is legit. Billy Joe Saunders, yeah, he's supposed to fight Canelo till he did some stupid video, he pretend to hit a woman on a bat. <laughs> Damn. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. Billy Billy Joe's um, a little bit controversial. And he's, uh, he doesn't help himself sometimes. Like like you said, the video with the, with the women, and he's always like Instagram line winding up. I, I sorry, Instagram line like winding up homeless people. And he's funny <laughs> though. He, he's Tyson Fury's best friend. Oh yeah, so, he's a character. Now, was it pretty cool at the Yaz Island, or was it kind of like scary, or what was it like? Yeah, it was pretty cool. I mean, we we didn't see as much as it was as we would have liked. We was like locked in the hotel room for. You know, a couple of days, and then by the time we we had the weigh-ins and the fight, I mean, I fought 4 a.m. and and I was flown back on 4 p.m. the next day, so Damn. we didn't get to see too much of it, you know. But uh, we just just grateful to be out there with the team and you know able to fight and uh, and earn some money in uh, in these crazy times. Was there a weird fighting with no crowd? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it was the the walkout and the the intros with Bruce Buffer was was really weird. Like, you, you just, uh, <laughs> it was, seems awkward. Like, there's like Jack Shaw and it was just dead silence. Like, oh, but uh, the fight itself wasn't too bad. I, I switched off from it a little bit. So, you know, it was just the walkout that was a little bit weird. But I want to shout out, um, I think Chappelle will like it. I don't know if he's seen it, but he's seen, I walked out to an Oasis too. So. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. gang, man. Dude, you're a legit Oasis Dude, fan, man. That's cool, you're real, man. Yeah. Dude, I got to get out there, man. What am I doing? We got to <laughs> ship you over there, man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, <laughs> one of the things we wanted to say, Jack, is that we might be coming back to uh, our original homeland <laughs> to the UK because things are getting a little bit weird over here. A little dicey <laughs> over here, man. So we might fire up the old Mayflower and head on back. <laughs> We need hey, some, we need some tips. Do you, do you think, yeah, what are some tips that you could give us? That's a good question. Like where should we go? Should we go? Should we land in Liverpool, Manchester, Stroud? You don't want to land in Liverpool. Trust me on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Darren Till says they have the best nightlife in all in all of England, man. Uh, yeah, if you like if you like fighting and, <laughs> and getting pushed around a lot, like they're crazy up in Liverpool. Yeah, it's like they? Wisconsin, huh? <laughs> yeah, but it, if you're coming to the UK, stop off in Wales. Yeah, we're, we're only small, but then we'll show you a good time. We're uh, 
we're very welcoming down here. So come down to the to the to the small part, and uh, you know we we'll always be welcome. Oh, we yeah. hundred percent. We pick whales over England every day. And what are some things that uh, we should know, like how to adapt into the culture there? Because I mean, there's a there's probably about a twelve percent chance that we're actually going to come come. <laughs> and I say even twelve percent is pretty high. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, there's is, probably a ninety nine percent chance with me. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, what are some we, what are some things we we could do, especially Chappelle, even to adapt into the culture? Like Chappelle's never even heard of wine gums. Oh, wine gums are the best, the best post weighing treat ever. Wine gums get that sugar straight in the system. <laughs> <laughs> The biggest tip, man, uh, obviously, if you come over, don't drive on the right-hand side of the road because you're going to stay on the left-hand side. Fair. Fair All right, that's a good start. I think that's a good start. I didn't want to put him on the spot, but uh, I asked him before the show, did you have any uh, English uh, debate clubs or King It or Sting It's for the guys you wanted to throw out to him? Yeah, you want to throw one out, Jack, before we uh, before we let you go here? And thanks so much for uh, for joining us this morning, man. Yeah, yeah no problem. Um, it's not so much an English one, but... That I know, uh, obviously, Brendan used to be in the UFC, and I know Field's a big fan um, of Dustin Poirier and the guys. So, the big club for me would be having, having fought in, in, obviously, with fans present and then in an empty arena. Would, would you rather the fights with the fans or without the fans? Um, I don't know. Sometimes those fans are assholes. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like... <laughs> And they give stupid ass advice like rip his head off. Like, I'm, I'm fucking trying. Man. He's really good, dude. You know. So I fought on the Ultimate Fighter with no fans. It was kind of dope. Less pressure. You can just do your thing. Feels like practice. I don't mind. I I like watching without fans too. So I don't mind no fans, man. Yeah, and I probably would get my ass kicked in either space. So <laughs> I uh, I think I would say no fans in because I don't want anybody there to see it. You know. <laughs> You don't want him yelling, world star. <laughs> then you can hear Dan Hardy yell at the ref with no fans. That's true, oh, yeah. man. That's always fun. Yeah. Um, who was the ref for your fight, Jack? <laughs> it was actually Herb Dean, oh. who, uh, who Dan had the run-in with. So, yeah, he's, uh, he's he's probably not fond of us British at the minute because of Dan Hardy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll be all right. <laughs> who do you think are winning a fight out of Herb Dean and no-nonsense Keith Peterson, my <laughs> idol? <laughs> it, 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 has Keith Peterson been drinking or no? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go yeah. out on a limb. Is, is Keith lit? <laughs> yeah. What are we doing, man? I'm gonna say I'm gonna go out on a limb and say yes. Yeah. Um, Keith, Keith Peterson, then every day, yeah. all day, bro. Jack, thanks so much for uh, jumping on, man, and we appreciate it, and uh, and we hope to see you soon in your country. We'll be showing up on the shore. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Welcome anytime. Thanks for having me on, guys. I'm a big fan. Thanks, brother. Good oh, yeah, luck, man. Bye. That nice guy. A, that was awesome. Yeah. yeah, nice guy. You found a new best friend. Yeah, I did. Damn. I thought he was just bullshit with yeah, the Oasis. His, no, like, what's his right. idea? He came out to an Oasis yeah, song. He, he said, Chappelle. How do you say his You see name? that, dude? Sure. Like a shoreline. People shoreline. love you. People dude. love you in other countries, Chappelle. I know. That's actually pretty fucking cool. Yeah. Another reason to go over there. <laughs> go over there. Yeah, now, you know he's, now, you know he's not in London, though, right? He's in Wales. Oh, he already Different. follows me. Oh, yeah. Go <laughs> over there and sleep at his house, Chappelle. Follow back. Huh? You can stay at his place. I could. Fall asleep to Oasis songs. I, oh, we, oh, I do that all the time. I do it every night. <laughs> do it with him. Uh, yeah. I would. <laughs> Why not? All right. Sounds Dude, like there's a nothing wrong with it, man. There's nothing. Especially, I don't know if it's easier. Do you think it's easier to be gay in some countries or not? Oh yeah, it's much easier mm -hmm. to be gay in America than anywhere else. Yeah, you might try be being right. gay in Mexico. It doesn't go well. <laughs> Did you try it or something? <laughs> nope, I just heard stories. <laughs> Dude, you want some jewelry, man? Oh you yeah. You never know. You might need that engagement ring down the road. You might need a nice thick chain with all diamonds. Dazzle me, bitch. Diamonds Dazzle on me. my neck. Diamonds on my chain. Dazzle What's up, me. man? You need anything fancy jewelry, high end jewelry? I'm talking about BlueNile.com. The original me. online jeweler to high income adults. And what I want to tell you about Blue Nile is they got two types of fine jewelry and wedding jewelry. So they got that classy, that swaggy, you know? 
that freaking lit grit, the stuff you want to roll into the club with. Then they got that piece you want to put on your lady mm. or your man or your gay man. It means forever. Yeah, that little slice of forever you want to balance on the knuckle. Yeah, dog. That's exactly what you need to do. It's time to mark a special occasion. What are you trying to do, man? Anniversary, whatever it is. Maybe yeah. celebrating getting your wig taken off. Mm-hmm. Whatever it is, celebrate with some fine jewelry. Yep, they got diverse styles for, uh, they got modern, they oh. got classic, vintage. vintage. Vintage, what? Yeah, don't settle. Don't stress out about shopping for jewelry anymore. Yep, it's ethically sourced, GIA-graded diamonds in every shape and size with an endless selection of settings to help you design the ring of her dreams. Treat your dame to that dime. That diamond ring. Gang. Do it together, man. And we you got shop a special with your for girl, you. With your friend. Yeah, let's hit them with that nice special offer right now. 100% satisfaction guaranteed. So and we, celebrate your love. Mm-hmm. And celebrate life's special moments. Somebody won a contest. Somebody. Spelling your, bee. Yeah, your daughter got her first hickey. You know, get her mm. that diamond piece. What's up, man? Go to BlueNile.com and King and the Sting listeners get $50 off your first purchase over $750. This podcast exclusive includes Loose Diamonds. Ooh, I'm trying to get that Loose Diamond, Get that LD, baby, that learning disability, Yeah, use code K-A-T-S. That's code CATS, plus every order is insured, ships free, and arrives in a discreet little package so it doesn't give away your surprise. Mm. Shop stress-free right now. Find your forever piece. Go to BlueNile.com to... Today. Today. Yo, bro, it's tough to go to the gym right now. Everybody trying to work out at home. And I thought the other day, man, I wish there was an app where I could get fit, okay? And then somebody went, dude, get FitBod. It's a smart fitness app that takes all the guesswork out of planning your workouts, all right? Mm-hmm. Each workout, I the app it. learns your abilities, plans your workout, designs the workout, so you get into Shred City, son. I'm feeling fat and sad. Dude, they need FitBod, bro. FitBod combines the knowledge of fitness pros with a powerful machine learning algorithm to give you a workout program that is the best just for you. No equipment. No problem. But I'm feeling fat and sad, though. Dude, they need that FitBot to get fit and happy. FitBot has bodyweight routines for those looking to get fit at home or on the go. It's super easy to use. They got videos. And guess what? You can try one month of workouts absolutely free. Oh, I love this, man. My ex-girlfriend does this kind of stuff, and she loves it, and she's getting fit, man. Cause, But not me. I've been fat and sad. <laughs> well, let's get you happy, man. Get personalized fitness plan that helps you work out smarter at fitbod.me slash K-A-T-S. Try FitBod for free for one month when you sign up today at fitbod.me slash K-A-T-S. That's one month free when you sign up at fitbod.me slash cats. Oh, if I use this, then I'll just be sad. <laughs> so, Brendan, tell us more about what you know about your history, man, because I'm curious. If you're British, man, that's wild that your yeah. mom and your aunts had that accent. Mm-hmm. Wow. I know. Weird, huh? Was it cool growing up, or was it kind of like, at that time, did you think it was not cool? I thought it was normal that my grandma, my aunts, they would smoke and cuss so much. So yeah. I thought everyone was like that. Yeah. You know how the Osbournes were? Remember when the Osbournes, yeah. everyone's like, damn, why are they cussing so much? That's just the way it was. My Dude. mom just cussed a shit ton. That's awesome. Still does. Really? Oh, yeah. Dude, that's awesome, man. That's so <laughs> funny. I didn't think about them having British accents when I was thinking about y'all. I was just, uh, yeah, I was like, oh, I, I didn't think they would have British accents. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. dope. Grew Did your drink- mom go back? Uh, yeah, every now and then. Wow. Yeah. I so grew- you also have a lot of family there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, aunts, cousins. Did you, whenever you went over there to tour with TFATK, did you guys go no, there? I, I went by myself. Oh, you did. Yeah, I just to stand up out there. Yeah. Did you see any family while you were there? Or no. I don't think so. I think they came to the shows. It was busy. We we planned it too last minute, so I was city to city. So oh I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh sucked. yeah, that's right. You went. I can't see anyone. Yeah. yeah. It was dope though. Damn. I'd love to go back. Um, I want to go back and go to a Premier League game. Yeah. That'd be sick. Well, thanks for talking to a fighter, man. I know it's not a fight show, but I was just trying to oh, find no, somebody I like that, that British. Kid. No, he's and that great. Guy was a big fan. That guy's a big fan. No, he's great. Dude. It's crazy. He's a killer. Like He's, he's, he's a stud. A enthusiastic young man. Like He's just... Those kids that come out of Cage Warrior, I mean, that's a... Isn't it interesting how in the beginning it was a little tough? Or for me, I felt like it was a little tough to understand his accent, and then it got easier. Mm Mm-hmm. By the end, you're I like, understood immediately. Now you have an accent. Yeah. Yeah. Now I have an accent. 
No, you're That's an accent. Not bad. But they have different ones. One of them, I think, is like really posh, you know, and one's like, oh, I'm not, um, oh, excuse me, sir, you know? Yeah, one's, one's like street. Yeah. And Jason Statham gets shit for it because he talks like a street. Mm -hmm. British accent. Isn't but it he, called Cockney? Yeah, Cockney accent, but he, he grew up not Cockney, so the English call him out for it. Mm. Oh. Fancy a fig, sir. Fancy an extra fig for What's your this? Is this practicing British? She's got 17 types of diff, uh, English accents. I do, it's one thing I cannot do. I just can't do a British accent. Really? I just can't do it. Oh, really? dude, you just Even though growing up around it, I can't so do it. come with me as I take you on a guided tour through all of the accents you use. So, good evening. It's nine o'clock and this is the news. I'm very important. Heightened RP is generally only spoken on film and television now. So you're going to think of Nell Card or the Dowager Countess in Downton Abbey. Oh, Gerald, I do love you, but you're so terribly, terribly poor. Now, oh. London is the accent that most people outside of Britain can recognize. <laughs> the classic lock, stock, and two smoking barrels. Go out of one. Who's a pro soccer player? Go on. Really? Before he was an actor. Best. You taught. East Anglia is a flat, boggy kind of place with a flat, boggy kind of accent. I love to give you an example of somebody that comes from there that speaks like this, but they all lose this accent as soon as they can. Stephen Fry's from Norfolk, but he doesn't speak like <laughs> She's this. She's great. He's posh. Here's a kind of classic kind of. Give it a shot, Brendan. Yeah. Let's <laughs> do it right now. I need. I need. Just I need. A, a I need to, no, give me a phrase to say. All right. All right. Let's give you a phrase. All right. All right, All right, mate. Let's give you something to say. It's good. All it's right, Australian. mate. I know. It's, it's Australian. close, though, but Australian is British people that, that weren't doing good. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah, they are. Is they it said, really? Yeah, yeah man. Mm -hmm. they, they were sick of the rain and shit and bad teeth, so they went over to Australia. They said, you're not doing good. You got to yeah. go there. Go here. Really? Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, let's Fancy. give let's give Brendan something to say. Cheeky bastard. I'm knackered. That's what you got to say. That means I'm tired. Yeah. I'm knackered. Cheeky bastard. And careful on the knackered, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got to be careful. Yeah, we know you like to get a little. Brendan gets a little loose. Yeah, you, know? yeah. <laughs> you get a little loose around the N word. <laughs> Only the N word in other cultures. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. American N words, he doesn't say them, man, but yep. N words Never. in other cultures. Yeah. <laughs> he gets a little loose. Knackered, mate. Let's Here's some it. common British phrases. Cat, you want to take us through a couple of these? <laughs> to impress your mates. I don't know about that. Let's, let's go, uh, Brendan. No, I need to hear someone say it in the accent. Then it's I can... British slang. Let's look at that if you don't mind. Yeah. If we can zoom in on there. A cock up. Brilliant hair lot. Cheers. Yeah. Bugger off. Boot. Gosh, boot. Boot means a trunk of a car as well. Yep. Mm. He's mad. Crazy. Um. Yeah. That's smashing. Smashing. Isn't it? Isn't it? Dude, you would be a good British person, Chappelle, I think. It's because I watch a lot of uh, Oasis videos, to be honest. I think that's one of the biggest reasons. I watch a lot of their interviews. I think they would love Chappelle. Hilarious. Oasis? And Cat, too. The Do British you? or Oasis? I, uh, the British. Mm. Because I don't think that they have a lot of Vietnamese women there. Oh, would I be so exotic like, when I go ooh, over there? Yeah. Like a zebra. <laughs> I've never felt more exotic than when I hang out with you guys. Really? really? I'm not aware that I'm Asian until I'm here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> more Theos, but he always brings it up. Do I? <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of used to it by now. Oh, wow. I you can feel see exotic? That. Yeah, I've never felt exotic in my life because I grew up around a bunch of Asians and a bunch of Mexicans. And then I hung out with you guys, and now I'm like, wow. Asian girl. I'm like a fucking unicorn. Damn. <laughs> Dang, I'm sorry. Yeah, every time I meet somebody that's different than me, I immediately say they are. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's not you like You see her every Tuesday, thing, though. though. Right. You see her every Tuesday. Yeah, that's true. It's Hopefully, only once a week, though. Yeah. It'll phase down a little, I think, probably, in this third year. Either way, you make you feel like a unicorn. That's a good thing. That's a good point. It is. It's a great thing. Yeah, I wonder why I do that. It's so weird, you know? I wonder if I lived there that I would catch on to the accent. Like, if I... Spent the rest of my life there. I wonder if I would catch on. You pick up on certain things, I not bet, the whole accent. Yeah, though. I bet you. Because you said your mom doesn't have the accent anymore. She's lo lo definitely lost it. Yeah, dude. If we got your aunts to send in freaking King and a Stinger videos, that'd be awesome. That'd be so I'll fun. get my mom to send in one. Oh, that'd I be great. Done that. And I could probably get somebody else that's in our family somehow, like my cousin's wife or something, or somebody. You know, my buddy's 
cousin or something. <laughs> Send in something. That could be fun. Only Cats Crew uh, family submissions. Wow, oh. the Cats Crew family episode. Let's get, chi- let's get chin- Chin's fine-ass aunt. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> ha, 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 ha. That, that dime, that yin. Yeah. yeah. I know she'll I'll be bring down. the yang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she'll yeah. She'll be down. She's in Texas, she'll right? Yeah. You know what would be oh. funny? My parents. <laughs> if my parents said something, that would be super funny. Oh, That'd be cool. Yeah. So let's talk about Britain, man. We're supposed to talk about Britain. I don't know. I what feel like we doing. have been, haven't we? <laughs> oh, here's a oh, guy yeah. right here. He's from Britain. Culture Corner, how are we doing? Good. Um, my name's Sean. I'm from the north of Scotland, a place called Inverness. If you don't know where that is, uh, the Loch Ness Monster stays about three miles that way. Mm. Wow, oh, wow. And Kat, that's not the Loch Ness Monster that people are dropping into your DMs about. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got a debate club for you. We're in Scotland, it's dinner time. Do you go for that haggis, neeps, and tatties hitter? Or do you go for that English bangers and mash? Ooh. So that's haggis, turnip, and potatoes, or sausage and potatoes? Let me know what you think. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz. buzz. Right on. Bangers and mash. Yeah. But what is haggis? It's, it's fish? I think haggis is like goat liver or something. Sheep's Sheep? pluck, minced onion, oatmeal, suet, spices, salt. Mixed with stock. Ooh. That's a hard pass. Oh, and it's encased in uh, animal stomach. Oh, oh, praise God. As it should be. Yes. Oh. That's what sausage is in, though. Uh, yeah. That's true. Yeah. So they're a bit similar. I think I'm going Agus, man. I'm going bang his mash. Yeah, are you? Yes. Okay. I love you. Always have. Always have. <laughs> there we Always go. He's have. getting it. Always have. <laughs> Let's I'll go get it by it. the end. Yeah. Bang his mash. Mm, Ooh, good. those bangers look Ooh. a little girthy, huh? Yeah. Looks like my Man. DMs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that looks like cat. <laughs> <laughs> What's under it? Huh? Is that mash hay? That's oh, mash, potato. dog. That mash, baby. That shit is fire. That's what I would eat? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or fish and chips. That's you would eat. Yeah, fish and chips, man. That's it. Um, and Bangers then, mash all day for me. Beans for breakfast. I'm going Agus, man. Mm. You know? I'm just open my face up by the shoreline and just beat a bunch of just, just, just nasty. Just toss that in it. there, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, and there's different types of also a- accents. I know that if they have, like, if you're like real fancy you're like talk like this that's what know? i'm saying that's a, that they give uh jason statham shit because oh, yeah? he had he originally had the fancy accent and then as he got to be more like famous as like a tough guy he started using the cockney accent people were like dude what are you doing a mm. spot of tea sir you know <laughs> but then they I'll got have the- some more yeah there yeah. you go <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay he's, then he's gonna have it yeah, yeah, what's what's up? Up? <laughs> and then uh but then if you like that like if you're like oh can't my, my leg fell off sir my <laughs> leg fell off and I can't you know I need something to feed my, my mom you know <laughs> Me fancy mom. a roll sir fancy a roll and that's more like a like, street yeah you're living in the street yeah got oh it. I can't I've got a rash on my back sir <laughs> rash I've got on my a rash bum. will you scratch my back buddy you cheeky bastard yeah you Scr- cheeky bastard oh scratch my back buddy oh I'm poor <laughs> <laughs> What's so my family's poor sir I'm not a poof dad. <laughs> That's more of a yeah, like a. It's more yep. of a street. Yeah, it's more. It's street. more of a street cat. It's more hood. It's a little more yeah. thug, you yeah. know. Okay. And that avocado shirt really helps with it. Hell oh, yeah! Oh, thank you very Hell much. Yeah. It's a and nice this, shirt. Yeah, this is actually a breakfast shirt. That's from. Oh. They're from Australia. They from sent Australia. me some stuff. They did. Yep. They got is some it, cool stuff. Is it, it's only vegetables and fruits on the shit. No, they got some. Different they, they, stuff. They got one, I got one with a jellyfish. Yep. Oh, beautiful. One? They got yeah. some good items. You should wear it. Man, you know, a friend of mine wanted some licorice. I said, look, little bastard, I'll get you some licorice. Yeah, that was me. It and was? I, I appreciate you sending that man over to my house. Oh, you're welcome, man. Yeah, you talking about the MVP of this quarantine. We talking about Postmates. Yeah. Everybody freaking out. Postmates said, calm down. We got you, fam. What you need? You need a burrito at 2 in the morning? Yeah. You, you need, need a sushi roll at 7 a.m., psycho? Yeah, you need a couple gummy worms at, at 6 in the morning, bro. Whatever you need. You need a freaking... Uh, a uh, little cake. You need a cake for your cousin, bro. It's at 5 p.m. Oh, you need a Monster Energy drink from Walgreens. We got you, 7-Eleven. We got you. Just mm-hmm. download Postmates on your phone and you get anything you want delivered within an hour. Peace. Postmates is giving you delinquents $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days. Start your free deliveries. Download the app. Use the code KATS2020. Yeah. That's code KATS2020. Get what you need. Get a Gatorade. Get a um, mm. get a um, Gatorade. sweet and salty cashews. Get a damn muffin. Yeah, dog. That's $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days when you download the Postmates app. Code KATS2020. Anything you need, anytime you need it, Postmates it. 
Look, man, I got to tell you this, man, and I've been trying to tell you, man. What? <laughs> what is I'm telling you about ship station, bro? <laughs> well, make ship happen, bro. Dude, I'm trying. Here's the thing. I keep trying hey, to. Hey, you hear me knocking? Yeah. Ship it, bro. Oh, dude, I'm telling you, bro. I keep trying to ship stuff to you, and you keep moving to different places. So it's just getting harder and harder, man. Thankfully, I'm using ShipStation. Mm. It's the fastest, easiest, most affordable way to manage and ship your orders. They do make it super easy. ShipStation makes it so dang easy. ShipStation helps online sellers of any size get orders out quickly. That's right. No Save matter money what you're on selling. shipping costs, whatever it is, dude. Amazon. You, you sell them that bullshit. Yeah. And ShipStation, they'll send your bullshit. Yep. If you, you might not like it, but it'll get there on time. It'll get there on time. If you sell them through Amazon, Etsy, or your own website, ShipStation brings all the orders into one simple interface. You can manage it all easily, even from your cell phone. You can, and, and ShipStation, you know, they sort through all the carriers, so you don't have to do that leg work. USPS, FedEx, UPS, even Amazon, all right? And right now, King and Sting listeners, you can try ShipStation free for 60 days when you use the code KATS. Make sure your business is ready for all this, man. Get started at ShipStation.com today. That's right. We all know that the, uh, the, fe- the mail system is a complete piece of shit yeah so dog. it's time to take things into your own hands literally you can do it on your phone on the website click on the microphone at the top of the home page and type in k-a-t-s that shipstation.com then enter offer code k-a-t-s shipstation.com make ship happen here's a guy right here from uh from high street pub right here Yo, what is going on, guys? My name's Lewis. I'm coming from Oxford in England, and I'm standing outside of the Eagle and Child's pub, one of the oldest pubs in the country. Now, this is where Tolkien wrote a lot of the Lord of the Rings books. Wow. And he would tell the stories to his Oxford University students. And right across the road, there, we've got Oxford University, which is where a lot of the Harry Potter films were filmed. So my question to you is, are we saying Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter? Are we going Gandalf or Dumbledore? Ooh. Dobby or Gollum? What are you saying? Buzz buzz? Gang gang. Gang gang. What, right a, what a cool video. Yeah, yeah man. Oxford, well done. tough to get into. Well done, Lewis. Um, he also said that pub is the Eagle and Child pub, a drinking house where J.R.R. Tolkien uh, would write a lot of the Lord of the Rings books. Yeah, that's what he said in the video. Oh, and then read aloud to his Oxford University students. Sorry if he said that. Uh, yeah, that's what he said in the my video. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> He's got you. Listen to Sorry. Him. Right. No. no, it's good it's you exactly did in English. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's good you did an American accent for us. <laughs> <laughs> the Eagle and the Child, it says, huh? Very... I'm not a big uh, Harry Potter fan. Are you? That's more. I kind of miss that. Lord of the Rings was dope too long for my liking, though. <clears throat> Sitting in the theater a... for a hot four hours yeah. or whatever the mm-hmm. fuck Good it was. Question: Which one do I like? The Hobbits better? and the Big Feet. Yeah, uh, I like Hermione, dude. Hermione, <laughs> though. Hermione. Oh, I'll put it. Emma in Hermione. Watson? Hermione. Yeah, I'll, I'll put it. In and her. then, and then, Rudy was also a Lord of the Rings. Rudy is a, but that's Hobbit. about Notre Dame. Yeah, but Rudy yeah, turned into a hobbit. Oh, he is in it. Oh, you're talking about Watts. the Emma Watts. Yeah, Rudy's in uh, Lord of I the Rings. I forgot he's in that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sean. Sean Austin. Mm-hmm. Sean Aston. Talks mental health. Yeah, he was a legend, dude. And if he did Rudy and then he did dang that, I'm going with that, I did, think. You would think those boys got paid, right? But we had one of the hobbits on, the, on my show before, and he was saying they knew it was going to be huge. So when they signed the contracts, they tied them in for like all the, oh. and they're like, you're only getting this. We know it's going to be big. We can hire anybody. So you're, just, you're getting this much every every movie. So Because I was like, damn, you set, dog. You got that fuck you Hobbit money. He's like, no, I don't. Mm-hmm. They knew it was going to really? be big off the jump. Oh, that's so depressing. they signed us to a low deal. Oh, that's depressing, man. It's just depressing oh. people just taking advantage of people at every turn, you know. And just because they're small Hobbits, you know. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. ridiculous. Because they're small Hobbits. Mm-hmm. There you go. I love you. I always have. Yeah, I always have. 
Now, I'm going to say, what was the man asking about? Which one? Harry Potter or Lord, Lord of the, the Rings. Lord of the Rings all goddamn day. I'm a grown man. I'm switching. I'm going to go Harry Potter, man. That's, that's fair. You know? <laughs> I want to see that Dumbledore, that Griffin door. <laughs> mm-hmm. What's that game they play? That freeze tag on Quidditch. Pro Sticks? Quidditch, Quidditch, bro. Dude, you would have been a... You'd have been a keeper and quit it you better get a thick broom for me (laughs) (laughs) dude what about thick broom bike club yeah (laughs) or thick boy broom club that's better thick old mop yeah Here's a fella right here and thank you for all these submissions man wow a lot of uh a lot of cats uh listeners over there this is some nerds playing real quidditch (laughs) Oh damn! No, it ain't. Oh, there you go. Damn, touching dong. Ain't, ain't right nobody there. got. Ain't nobody got a girlfriend on that team. <laughs> Dude, if you're playing Quidditch, that I, that's basically the equivalent of playing LARP over here. You know? It's yeah, a it's hot LARPing. Look, look, dude. I feel like Quidditch is popular over in Silicon Valley. I feel like I've driven past by Google and saw a lot of workers playing. Hmm. Wow. Wow. They man. pretend they're flying and shit and yeah. throw the ball through the it's a bummer. They used to play Smear the Queer when I was growing up. Yeah, also known as rugby. <laughs> yeah. And it was uh and nobody was queer, but everybody got smeared. That was a thing. Yeah. You can't even call it that anymore. Nope. And you probably shouldn't because if somebody's really gay in the neighborhood, they're like, shit. He's like, I'm know? always it, man. Yeah. I'm getting sick of this fucking game. Yeah, yeah. Just you guys tackle me all the time. Because yeah, yeah. I came out in fourth grade. And that's why they play Quidditch now. That's true. Yeah. You can't even play Red Rover, Red Rover anymore. You you remember can't. that really? game? No, kids can't play any Red Rover. They can't what? play dodgeball. There's no kickball, dodgeball, Red Rover. Red Rover, Red Rover, I couldn't wait. All them little bitches holding their hands like this. I'm like, Red Rover, Red Rover, send Brendan right over. And I, my thick ass just coming, dude. <laughs> that 40-yard dash. <laughs> Brendan's the only one who would run over with somebody on his back, like a little guy on his back. Yeah. <laughs> a like little a, Salvadorian jockey. Like a cannonball in that bitch. <laughs> yeah. can't play that. Destined to be the wedge buster. Oh, that's yeah. what I did, dude. But here was the problem with Red Rover. And I, I think it originated as a British game, actually, if you'll look that up, if you don't mind, Nick. Um, Red Rover, a lot of time you run over and they would pull their hands up and clothesline you. Yep. That's the fun of it. But that's when the game ended. And when someone some, got fucked up, the other thing is a lot of people have blown out their goddamn shoulders. Yeah. Yeah, yeah some little girl who can't even re- hold nothing up anyway and she's blowing out of, you know. The game is played between lines of players, east and west. Um, in Russia. In Russia. The, the game's known as Al-Baba. Al-Baba Alibaba. Czech Republic. It doesn't say we're uh, British Bulldog. They call it the British Bulldog? Hmm. British Bulldogs game. I thought that's when you take... Hmm. So, but yeah, the worst... But that's when the game would end. Whenever Dude, they we would should do Red Rover, Red Rover. Close line them. <laughs> oh. We should do a Red Rover, Red Rover of grown people. A league? Yeah. Wow. Well, not a league. Just like for the show. <laughs> I don't think I should play. <laughs> That'd be cool, Cat. <laughs> you know, oh, Cat, Brendan. somebody's going to get hurt, Brendan. Maybe. And it's going to be or, or one of a, us. Or you, have, <laughs> or you have a great time. We all eat orange slices afterwards. <laughs> but see, this is one of the things that you didn't. This is one of this will be a teaching moment because this is what it's like when the big guy asks the smaller people to play a game. And you know that <laughs> if you play with the big guy, you're going to get hurt. Right. Yeah. Even though he doesn't. He just wants to play the game. You That's know? his intentions. Yeah. He's like, I just want to play the game. And you're like, no, dude, we can't play boxing because you're 200. And six pounds even though you're in the fifth grade and we are all 85 pounds well i like how Chappelle acts like he's a little guy oh yeah, yeah. no man we tiny out here dog. you're 240 pounds dog Chappelle moonlights as a little guy yeah. <laughs> why do you think i got these skinnies on come on now dude Make i'll say this little. if we go back over to the uk we got to bring some females with us i will say that dude because they really I think they they have beautiful women there, but they're not as attractive. I don't think as. And there's not a ton of them. No, Mm-mm. you'll there see a, a lot woman. Of women there? No. Well, no, not a ton. Not not a ton of attractive ones. Or them at all. I think you just. I think there's like seventy women. I feel like in the UK. Slim pickings. <laughs> in London, there's some downtown. You know. Over there by Soho House and that, but they're posh mm-hmm. as all get out. Mm-hmm. It's all get out. Mm-hmm. You know. What you got here, Nick? A uh, British related name game. Hope you're both well. I've got my mask on, as you can see. This will definitely stop me from getting coronavirus. Anyway, I have a UK-themed name game for you, and that is British Comedians. Gang, gang. Ooh. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Well, 
Ricky Gervais would be number one, right? Okay. Eddie Izzard would be number two. And here we are. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's hard. No, who's my... Oh, God. <laughs> Russell Howard? Nice. Wow. <laughs> Russell Brand? Does he count? Mm-hmm. He's done stand-up. Yeah. That's a good call. I'll give you that. Is Russell Howard a real person? Yeah, he, yeah. he's big. Oh, wow. I've got to check him out. <laughs> I'm going to go with... Um, Come on, you got this. How about um, a British comedian that's enjoyable mm-hmm. or non-enjoyable would be a good man like... Um, how about? <laughs> come on, come on. Also known as Who, who's the guy always in a suit? Jimmy Carr. Oh. Jimmy Carr. I was gonna say Jimmy Carr. Yep. I took a picture with him. He's my mom's yeah. favorite. Jimmy Carr's a legend. He's a legend. And a Super very legend. Very sweet man. Such I'm a nice say guy. also that uh, who was the guy that died up in Canada of cocaine? The mayor of Toronto, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Rob Ford. <laughs> I don't think so. (laughs) You know, Rob Ford came to the comedy store one night. Really? (laughs) Yeah. Not shocked. One of the greatest things ever, but Rob Ford, definitely. And then I'm going to go up on a limb and say, um, I'm trying to think of some of the guys I even worked with when I was over there. Yeah. (laughs) That guy right there, dude. Oh, wow. Rob Ford, bro. (laughs) Who looks like Prince Harry if he really fell off, man. (laughs) Prince Hardly. Looks like Tim Dillon's uncle. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, dude. (laughs) You guys know um, about Benny Hill? Benny yeah. Hill, the preacher? No. <laughs> That's Benny Hinn. That's Benny Hinn. Yeah. God, a, better, a better name game would have been um, British Bands. Let's do it. Dude, We it's, this just shows what we know about our forefathers, dude. I know, it's tough. Jack Shit and Jack Shore <laughs> are, the, are the two things we know about our I can't believe I forgot Jimmy Carr. Jimmy Carr is great. It's a good oh, choice. He's but, so cool. Oh, there's also a girl. There's a girl, Katie. Um, Nida. No, Kate. Moss. No, is she British? Kate Moss is, huh? Yes. There you go. What if just anything British? Do we even know? Basically, any uh, Daily Show correspondent. I feel like they were all British comedians. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did we say Ricky Gervais? Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, That's Mr. Bean. Um, Charlie Chaplin was British. Yeah, I think. Uh, who's uh, the guy who had the late night talk show from Scotland? Craig Kilborn. Craig, Craig Ferguson. Kilborn. Ferguson. Ferguson. Craig, Craig Ferguson. Kilborn was ESPN. And also had a late night show. Yes, that's but, right. Um, there's a comedian named Soju who's a comedian. Um, there is a... Who's this comedian? I just worked with over there. We don't know a lot of British comedians. My brain is just... That's what happens when you get too specific. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, but thank you, Britain. <laughs> for letting us leave and she was one of the 70 hot girls apparently over there as well oh i know it's a couple people though bexy he's a rapper over there mm-hmm. um alex bowen um i'm just naming british people winston churchill <laughs> you've said him twice now yeah okay he's good though don churchill his brother mm. little don little don <laughs> uh, speaking of Br- british oh yeah idris elba, idris elba. Ooh, also also wow. Corona alumni. Yeah, Ooh, Corona alumni. Ooh, with the show and tell, bro. Keep Dude, have you seen me. Have you seen The Wire? The TV show, The Wire? Yeah, man, I'm American, yeah. Stringer oh, Bell. He, he does a really good uh, English accent, hmm. like American. Oh, yeah. Yeah, in that show. I just started watching it, so. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, The Wire? Mm-hmm. Um, mm. It's a great show. Well, shit, man. I got to open you, up you know, my the, You know, book. The Office was the original English show. Oh, I have to see. I haven't even seen that version yet. Yep. Supposed to be the best version. Man, I'm just feeling bad. I'm just feeling like I haven't done anything. Simon Cowell. Yeah. You know, yeah. American Idol originated in England. Mm-hmm. I haven't done anything for our forefathers, man. I've done nothing, dude. It's crazy <laughs> that this whole thing was your idea, too. Yeah. <laughs> I was excited, dude, about just talking. Let's hear what this guy said. Maybe he'll, he'll help us out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gang. Hope everyone is well and that chin is still alive. Huh? I'm just out here joining the British countryside with my pooch. Ooh. Say hello. Ooh. I've got a question for you guys. The Queen, do you kinga or do you stinger? My opinion is, sting the bitch, get a real job. 
I want to know what your thoughts are that you're saying with you. Should like that wrinkly first trap. Also, Chappelle, here there's a lot of interest over in Manchester for your sauce, so I hope you're bringing that sauce out internationally. Ooh. But let me know what you guys think. Gang, gang. Chitty, chitty, bang, bang. Chitty, bang, bang. Uh, gang. Right on. Gang. The, the royal family's weird to me, man. They're still doing the damn thing. It's they? getting weirder. It's almost like become a reality show that they won't discontinue, kind of. Yeah, it's like season 13, and we're just like, come on, dude, when this shit's going to end? And then her son was hanging out with fucking your boy Epstein. Really? Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. big time. Then did an interview like a dumbass. Oh, yeah. And it was he looked so guilty. Wait, it. what? Mm-hmm. You haven't seen any of this. Dude. Oh, man. You know, you the, there's the things you know and the things you don't blow my mind. <laughs> and I'm an idiot. Yeah, I'm stupid <laughs> as well, but yeah. I know some of this shit. It just... Uh, uh, yeah, man, the queen. I look. I think it's a, it's a, it's like a tradition. You know, it's like a tradition. It's like it's like a, a Christmas tree. Mm-hmm. It's like Halloween, really. The other thing is, is uh, this, if we had Sam Tripley and Eddie Bravo in here, they'd tell you they think she's the richest person on earth. Wow, really? Yeah, they think she runs everything. But then I everything. think there's a. How old is she? 107 or something. I, there's some tradition that I like, though. I feel like if you get rid of all tradition, then it, everything's going to be a bit boring. They're like the white Kardashians, though. They're mm-hmm. like the original Absolutely. Kardashians. 100%. Like, mm-hmm. it's no, what, what she is, what the royal family is, is no different than what we did to the Kardashians. Yeah. Mm. They're, they're famous for no reason. Yeah. Oh. But, they're, but they're, everyone looks up to them. Everyone wants to know every detail and everything. And like, that, she's not making any policies or fucking passing any bills or laws. Yeah. Wow. And there's our boy Dirt Nasty right there, and they offered him one time 70k to say he hooked up with Meghan Markle. But to say he did, yep, he, and he, he wouldn't do it. He went. He went to dinner with her, and then the tabloids wanted him to say they did more after. Really? He came to- yeah, I wouldn't have taken that. And he wouldn't do it. Good for him. Legend. Yeah. Legend. Legend. And he took her on a date. Mm-hmm. You know, another legend move. She's pretty smoking. Married a prince. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep, married a prince, man. So I'm gonna say, what's his guy's accent? He's always talking about the oh, the queen. royal family. King, king I think it's kind of cool. It'd yeah, be cool I say, if there was a king, and he was like real mean, like Henry VIII, like cut, cutting heads off. Now that's shit. what we need. Yeah, get a real king up there. You got right now your boy Boris Fat Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> also COVID alumni. Oh uh, yeah, I like now I like <laughs> Boris, man. But Boris looks a little bit sometimes like too much like uh. Who's that? Boris looks like the the Louis Capaldi, the singer. No, but he also oh, looks like the brother of the who's the thick chick off of um, Perfect Pitch. Rebel Wilson looks like Rebel yeah. Wilson's <laughs> shitty brother. Yeah. Oh yes. Gosh. Yeah, like Reb Wilson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Boris definitely dude. Rebel Rebel Wilson. Boris also looks like Louis Capaldi's uh, dad. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a little bit. And that Louis Capaldi can fucking sing. Mm-hmm. Oh, he can? I've never heard of him. Oh, how dare Ooh, you? He can sing. Oh, yeah. Now I got to look into it. Yeah. Well, Rebel Wilson lost some weight. I'm talking about old school Rebel Wilson. I'm talking about Wendy's Rebel Wilson. Louis Wendy's. Capaldi looks like every character from <laughs> Harry Potter in one person also. <laughs> like they all mix? Yeah, which is pretty, pretty, like a power pretty charming, pretty remarkable. Talented guy. Super talented. But here's the thing, man. What are we talking about? Fuck. Oh, King, King of the Sing the Queen. The yeah, here's what we need. We need real kings that are willing to ha- get a dragon, get a castle, chop your head off, kill somebody, yes. chop your head off, have a knight. Again, you know, castle. Where's Where's the big fluffy red velvet rug? Yeah, if you're gonna be a king, play it up. Yeah, dude. Too many people are being kings but not doing shit. Yep, you know, take shit over, take countries over. Yeah, why is Why is Pitbull acting more like a king than the actual king of England? Mm-hmm. You it's know, the worldwide. Or the Prince of England. And where's the damn king? He died. Mm-hmm. Well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get another king. How, how long has it been since they had a king? No it's... wonder they're screwing around over there. Mm. You know? It's frustrating. It just pisses me off. <laughs> because they are the original keepers, man. Mm. So if they can't even get a king, they're milling around under this female, under this, you know, she's a charming woman. But, you know, unless she's a real savage grandmother... She's outlived her husband 68 years. Jeeps. How old is she? Uh, she? King George was her man, huh? Yeah, so that's the thing, man. Yo, I'm with you, though. Get a dragon, dude. Yeah, get a fucking 94. dragon. 94. Damn. Sheesh. Damn. And there, there's that prince... Uh... Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> she can't stop, won't stop. Dude. Won't stop at all. Dog. Wow. 
Y'all slept on that Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> She sure can yeah. go in, dog. And here's uh, here's Prince. one of her kids. He's got an offspring tattoo. Yeah, here's yeah, Prince Andrew song. right here. <laughs> he does, I think. Oh, if there's anybody Hello. that likes offspring, it's this... Prince Andrew. Hello. <laughs> this is David from Scotland, who unfortunately lives in Alabama. Uh, this shoot my shots for uh, my wife, Haley. She uh, went to the grocery store November, and... Uh, <laughs> I was just wondering if you're coming back <laughs> anytime soon. Uh, buzz, buzz, and giggity, giggity, or whatever the fuck. Wait, what? He just wanted to shoot a shot and get his wife back. He just wanted to see, he was shooting a shot because his wife just dipped out. No, I'm sorry. Was he in Alabama, he said? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was interesting. From Scotland, unfortunately, now in Alabama. So <laughs> at least we know where the ranking goes. Yeah. It goes Mississippi, Louisiana, Alabama, Scotland. <laughs> yep. I respect that, dude. Moving up the charts, Scotland. Hopefully he finds his girl. Oh, uh, yeah. Good luck, man. Yeah. I'm sure she'll be back soon, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and here we got a fella right here, and he looks a bit posh, actually. It's David from Snyder, Wales. I've got a king and a sting. Not Wales, let's get castles. Oh, kingdom, bro. Oh, wow, oh, that's yeah. beautiful. I mean, it's kind of shitty looking, but yeah. Here so you being go. Welsh, I king it. There's more castles per square mile than anywhere else in the world. Uh, so yeah, let me know. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz, Cymru, Cymru. Hmm. Hmm, must be the local team. Um, yeah. Dude, king castles. Dude, get some Khaleesi in there, spit out some kids, run around the castle. Mm -hmm. You don't see him these days. Oh, and there I met you, mate, right there. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was in London, man. Did he give you that jacket or something? <laughs> huh? Did he give you that jacket? No. Why, freaking... What are you guys doing? He had the tag. Uh, he said Theo had the tags on so he could return it. Oh. Yeah. In England. Smart. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm still planning on returning it. <laughs> <laughs> I got to mail it back to get it returned. Yeah, times are tight. Yeah, <laughs> my jacket's returning them. Damn, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they are tight around Damn, Damn, daddy. <laughs> These are tough. Damn. Damn, Penny Pincher over here. Times, A little bit of rain by the jacket. Can it take it back? <laughs> oh, man, son. <laughs> Hey, different strokes for different folks, man. Yeah, at least you're saving money. <laughs> Dude, look, I'm telling you, as soon, soon as raw stress for less opens back up, I'm in there. Um, I would say, what was the man asking again? Castles. Castles King, King of Sting. Castles are... Now, there's a Kentucky castle. Can we look that up? There's one castle in America oh, yeah? called the Kentucky Castle. I and like I stayed there. Oh, really? I stayed there whenever I... Now, have you, have you ever gone to uh, medieval times? <laughs> Uh, yep. That's not a real castle, though, Brendan. Yeah, but it's the closest thing we have. And you eat chicken with your hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're right. Good call. In the movie, they're at medieval times, and he goes, "Can I get a diet coke?" She goes, "Dude, we're in medieval times. Hence, there was no diet coke." Ace Ventura. You don't remember. Brendan, do you know where it's from? It's the cable guy. Okay. <laughs> Is it the cable guy? <laughs> in the movie. And that's how this and show works. Yeah, I think it's cable guy. I, uh, yeah, I oh, see no, can I get a knife and fork? And she goes, dude, there are no knife and forks, hence medieval times. He goes, oh, but there's Diet Coke. She oh. goes, dude, I got a long day. Was it Cable Guy? Okay. Like, yeah, it's Cable Guy. Yeah. It's Cable Guy. Because remember, he plays the character. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to be part of this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But I cannot. It's Cable Guy for sure. And there's the Kentucky Castle right there. And this castle in Kentucky is interesting. Because here's what happened. A man was in love with a woman built the castle for the woman standard and then uh she never came back to him oh wow oh. wow she, she didn't see the pictures she she just wasn't down mm. usually, why because it's a castle usually because the old saying was build that castle get that asshole <laughs> <laughs> no it's build that castle get that asshole oh yeah. damn <laughs> that's aggressive yeah, yeah that is very aggressive Brendan. well that's the saying in kentucky i, I didn't make it up well that's why you built a goddamn castle <laughs> well, <dang. laughs> now i want to see what do you guys think about the british from being from asian and african-american white culture what do you guys do you guys have thoughts about the british growing up what do you mean? Did you guys have any like <laughs> thoughts about it? Like, did you guys I have any? I love British people. To me, they're exotic because yeah. I love Game of Thrones and Ooh. shit like that. I love Harry Potter. Mm. So to me, like 
the way people see like I'm an Asian girl, I'm like, wow, that's a unicorn. Wow. Those Brits, you hear that, fellas, eh? Mm-hmm. But you gotta wait till they talk. <laughs> yeah. That's just a white guy to you, right? I like white guys, though. Oh, but that's true, but you don't know until yeah, they don't speak, know. really. Mm-hmm. But they probably walk a bit more like, eh? Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Hey, you don't. Probably. You gotta get Chappelle over there. Chappelle, we gotta get you over yeah. there. Mm. What do you think about the British? You heard any thoughts about the British? Oh yeah, because the, the, a lot of the punk rock bands that I listen to oh, that's true, are huh? like uh, Slipknot. Are they British? <laughs> no, they're from Iowa, Des Moines. <laughs> I see. You no, know, <laughs> no, not I see. Think Basically, the corn British. They call them. No, corn's the who? the who. Yeah, the who. Oh yeah, huh? Um, then you got some like the punk rock band, like Discharge, uh-huh. um, Exploited, Jack, yeah. GBH. Um, Sex Pistols, Cockney Rejects. You okay. got a lot. This guy's got, got one for you. <laughs> He's a, okay. Here goes a guy right here. <laughs> he knows the bands. Brendan and Theo, Dan here from up north in the UK. Got a <gasps> King It and Sting It for Chappelle. We got Oasis, definitely, maybe. Or Stone Roses. Gang Gang, Stone Roses. Boss Nuts. Oh, man. Stone Roses. <laughs> huh? Uh, I don't know. Something they know. <laughs> something, so something something I, I thought Chappelle would know. Um, that's a very good question. Something Chappelle does that's with a, those people. That's a, yeah. Oh, man. Uh, he hit me with a tough question. Uh, <laughs> I'll probably have to go with uh, Oasis, definitely, maybe. That's my favorite album. And you got to know who these people are, Brendan. Do you yeah. know? No, but it's Chappelle. Yeah, you listen to Nickelback. It's Chappelle and his friends, dude. Yeah. They, these are the kind of kids that meet up in an abandoned Walmart, you know, <laughs> and somebody, you know, drags in a generator and, the, you know, plugs in a couple of fluorescent lights. And then they get after it, And they beat the shit out of each other. Oh, you're talking about a rave mosh pit? Paint each other's bodies and stuff. Uh, yeah. Right. I've seen it. It's Wiccan, baby. It's you ever been in a mosh pit? Any, any, it's Salem. I was in one when I was growing up. There was a band around me called like Deaf Kitty or something like that. It was always an impairment matched with an animal, you know? It was like uh, Blind Monkey, Deaf <laughs> Kitty, you know? Eyes um, wide shut bats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, wheelchair lemurs, you know? <laughs> it was always something that had to do with Eyes wide shut bats? I don't know. A, a handicap and then a, and an animal, you know? That's hilarious. Yeah. Um, drowned alligators, you know. <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, we got a show tonight, man. My buddy was manages a subway, and it's clo- yeah after hours, bro. <laughs> be it, be there. Have you, have you gone to a rave? Yeah, I've been to some. Not for me, man. Yeah, Up all night. No, fuck no. And that's a British thing, I think. Raves, aren't they? Yeah, Where did I think raves it start, out Nick? There. Really? Because Bisping used to be a damn DJ. Mm-hmm. They also got hooligans out there. Could also be something fun we could partake in. Ooh, hooligans. yeah. Go to, one, go to one of the Premier League games and join the hooligans and fuck some people up. Right there. In America, they call it protesting. If, if you... Also known as hardcore by earlier period. UK You'll funky. see acid movement. Late 80s. Mm-hmm. Go back one page, Nick. To just the beginning of... Oh, just the beginning. Okay. What does it say there? The UK right at the top? Anything? It said it started with the 80s with the UK acid movement. Yeah, oh, wow. Right. There you go. You're right. So people doing acid. That's a heavy drug. People wow. People in an acid bath, and that's it. Is that it? We no, got, we got a guy right here. Another debate club. Theo Vaughn, Brandon Schaub, coming to you from the uh, northeast of Scotland, rural Scotland. I've got a debate club for you. Uh, Scotland or Ireland? Ooh. Scotland, we've got uh, Glasgow, Haggis, William Wallace, yeah. Lewis Capaldi. Yeah. Um, whiskey is originally from Scotland, believe it or not. Oh, wow. There you go. We've got Kilts, we've got Bagpipes, we've got Loch Ness mm. Monster. Good. Um, a good list. Andrew Schultz's mum is from Glasgow <laughs> originally. Wow. Okay. Ireland, they've got Dublin. Leprechauns, <laughs> Conor McGregor. <laughs> That's pretty much it. We've got Andrew, <laughs> Andrew the fake Irishman Santino. He's not from Ireland. He claims he is. He's not. His last name Santino. I've no clue why he thinks he's. <laughs> uh, gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Theo, thank you so much for coming to Glasgow uh, a few months ago, almost a year ago, maybe. Um, no one ever, no one else ever comes up here, so I pre- we all, we all appreciate that so much. Um, 
Brendan Sharp, I know you're planning on coming up here. I appreciate that as well. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Keep Dean for your Dean. And yeah. Cool. Ooh, got a little romantic at the end. <laughs> so at the end there, I thought, man, I can't thank you now. Here's my gift. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. I thought he was going That's downtown. Dick yeah. yeah, yeah. This is really. And he's like this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, man. I love Glasgow, man. I love Scotland, man. This is so tough, dude. This I've never been. Tough. I've only been to, uh, I'm going to be biased. I've only been to Dublin. It's the greatest place I've ever been. So wow. Been Dublin. Dublin's Just awesome. because I've never been to Scotland. That's fair. Mm -hmm. And this gives me an out because since he chose Ireland, I can choose Scotland. Boom. Win win all the way around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good submission, mates. Yeah, good I love submission, you. mates. We, yeah, we always loved you. Chin, what do you think about uh, Britain when you guys hear about it? I always think sophistication, mm. smart. Whenever I hear people talk with that British accent, oh yeah, yeah, fancy. Jim went out there with me. Jim's yeah. been out there. So I'm, I'm also Ireland, by far one of the best places on earth. Yeah, mm. Should try to get a neck tat. Yeah, yeah that's how much I loved it. I was gonna get a neck right. tattoo there. Damn. Damn. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Would y'all get tattooed? In Ireland, in Dublin. I'm not sure. I forgot the, the tattoo artist's name, but he it was one of our... Chin all got it. Chin tried to get on his neck, but homeboy wouldn't do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still bummed about that. Damn. He was looking out for you. Well, I would be happy with it, so... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, cheers, <laughs> mate. Cheers. Cheers, man. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Thanks cheers for the submissions. Had a great time. Good on you, man. Good on you. We did That's it, huh? That's it, kids. Mm -hmm. First uh, country-themed episode. Yeah. What should we do next? Let the fans vote. I'm assuming Australia would be a banger. I, th I think. Th I think Australia. We could do Australia. Maybe can you lead us out with a different the British tune or something, mm -hmm. Nick? That is a sex uh, pistols. No, their, their, their favorite thing, Sweet Caroline, man. Oh yeah. Huh? Which but can we American. play that though? Probably not. Wait, sweet by Neil Diamond with yeah, Darren they Till. They love Sweet Caroline. Really? Who sang it? Darren Till. I didn't know Neil Diamond saying it, but dude, you know. Darren Hill. If you notice, whenever he's, it always looks like he's trying to catch a baby that's falling off a building. You notice that? <laughs> he always has that, just that look, like <laughs> oh, the like where's it gonna fall? You know, like <laughs> hit it, Nick. Shout out Till, man. Shout out Liverpool, Stroud, Sheffield, Essex, Manchester, Manchester. Shout Chelsea. This is a sound alike, so this works. <laughs> We can't get we can't get ding for this, can we, Nick? I don't think so. We probably can. <laughs> What's the guy doing karaoke? Well, this is a sad version. <laughs> and this is at a senior citizen's home. I love it. I think so, it's a Chinese restaurant. It's a Korean barbecue. Yeah, this is great, bro. <laughs> it's a Chinese Nothing restaurant. Makes sense. That's in the wild. <laughs> show. Nothing makes any sense. Huh? <laughs> Watch him kill it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We need to meet some uh, black Chinese guys. That's what we need. We do. There's black and Asians. Yeah. Let's meet a white Indian guy. But I'm talking black Chinese, bro. Black and Asians. That's rarely done. You're talking about black and Asians. Yeah. We'll put an ad out. Okay. Touching me. Oh, somebody's going to have a stroke. Oh, oh, oh. Some reason, it's super British. So good, so good, so good. Ricky Hatton came out to this against Floyd Mayweather. He did? Tom, Tyson Fury came out to this. Darren Till. Tom Ford. Kate Spade. Mm -hmm. ba -da -da. Are there any female British fighters? Where are them bitches at? <laughs> <laughs> good question. You know what I'm saying? I don't know any. Because if you go there, a lot of these ladies they look like they've fighting. gone a couple rounds with a freaking mirror, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah, they look like they bite you. Oh, yeah. yeah, dude. I got to pee so bad. All right, man. Gang. Gang, bro. Love y'all. Love you guys. Good on you, Britain. Yeah. Touching one, reaching out, touching me, touching me.
Are you going to see with me or not? Okay, thank you, guys. Yes, we can.